Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Islamic Education and Culture Stories. My name is Zina Dagwa. I am one of nursing lecturer at College of Nursing BMCH Kota. I am here to demonstrate the structure of human head. The human head is a bony structure that supports the face and forms a protective cavity for the brain. It is comprised of many bones which are formed by intramembranous ossification and joined by sutures. The bone of a skull can be considered as two groups, those of cranial, which consist of cranial roofs and cranial base, and those of seas. In this video, we shall look at the anatomy of bones of the skull, their orientations and articulations. The cranium is formed by superior aspects of the skull. It encloses and protects the brain, meninges, and cerebral vasculature. Anatomically, the cranial can be divided into roof and base. Cranial roofs comprises of frontal, occipital and two parietal bones. Cranial base comprises of six bones, frontal, subnite, ethmite, occipital, parietal and temporal. These bones articulate with the four cervical vertebra that is known as atlas, the facial bones and the mandibular. The facial skeleton supports the soft tissues of the face. It consists of 14 bones, which fuses to house the orbit of the eye the nasal and oral cavity, and the sinuses. The frontal bone is sometimes included as a part of the facial skeleton. The facial bones are zygomatic that forms the cheek bones of the face and articulates with the frontal, saphenoid, temporal, and maxillary bones. Lacrimal bones are the smallest bones of the face. They form part of the medial wall of the orbit. Nasal bones are two slender bones that are located at the bridge of the nose. Inferior nasal concha located within the nasal cavity. These bones increase the surface area of the nasal cavity, thus increasing the amount of spied air that can come into contact with the cavity wall. The amount of spied air that can come into contact with the cavity wall. Palatine, situated at the near of oral cavity and forms part of the heart palate. Maxilla that comprises part of upper jaw and hard, hard palate. Woman forms the posterior aspect of the nasal septum. Mandibular articulates with the base of the cranium at the temporal mandibular joint. Now let's have a look at sutures of the skull. Sutures are a type of fibrous joints that are unique to the skull. They are immovable and fused completely around the age of 20. These joints are important in the context of trauma as they represent point of potential weakness in the skull. The main switches in the adult skulls are coronal suture, sagittal suture, and labdatal suture. Coronal suture which fuses the frontal bone with the two parietal bones. Sagittal suture fuses both parietal bones to each other. Labdatal suture fuses the occipital bone to two parietal bones. In units, the incompletely fused switches join scriptures to membranous caps between the bones known as fontanelles. These two major fontanelles are frontal fontanel located at the junction of the coronal sagittal switcher and occipital fontanel located at the junction of sagittal and labdatal switcher. I hope you enjoy to learn the structure of human skull with me. It's time to say take care yourself. Assalamu alaikum and fiyamanila.